Hi everyone, I'm Jesse and in this video I'm going to show you what animation mixing is and how you can use it. We will see some examples about this and a small tutorial about how you can mix animation in Rive. So, let's see this video. Ok, the first thing you need to know is what animation mixing means. So, when you mix two animations, what happens is that the keys of one animation are added to the other animation on the top. For example, here I have two animations, this walking and this animation of the hips. Now when I mix both animations, this is what happens. The keys of the hips, this animation, these keys, are being added to the walking animation. And for example, if here in the hips, I change the rotation, for example, something like this. You can see how it affects to the mixing animation. Now, the position of the hips and the rotation of this animation, all these keys, all these keys, are being added to the walking animation. So, this is mixing animation and you can use this in different ways. For example, in this track, the idea was to be able to change the suspension while the track is running. And for that, I create these two animations separately. The wheels and the bouncing of the track. So, when I mix both animations in the same machine, I use an input to mix both animations. This way, I can mix the bouncing animation while the track is running. In this other example, I use two different animations, the bouncing and the spinning, to be able to activate the spinning while the icon is bouncing. In this last example, I use three different animations. One for the scooter, where I move the scooter and the character. Other for the character, where the character moves the scooter. And other animation for the package. Now, I mix these three animations in this way. In the first moment, the animation of the scooter and the character are mixing together. This way, I don't need in this animation of the character, I don't need to animate the loop of the scooter and repeat different times. I only need is create the animation of the scooter separately and then using in the state machine. And in this case, I use an input to activate the package. And this animation of the package is mixing with this both animation. The second thing you need to know is how you can use the keys to make a good mix. For example, here we have this working animation and the hips and I'm going to key the position of the leg here. Now when I mix both animations, this is what happens. The position of the leg don't move and this is because this new key is being added to the walking animation. And for this reason, now the position of the leg don't move. And this is something that happens sometimes. When you find something that you don't expect, it's good to review the animation to uh, check that everything is fine. For example, here I have two animations. This animation of the icon and this animation of the, this ellipse. So, when I mix both animations, what I expect is that uh, while this icon is jumping, the ellipse is moving. But when I check this, something is wrong. So when you find something like this, the best you can do is check the animations, for example this, 
to see if everything is fine. Okay, this animation is fine. Check the other animation. And you can see that here there is a key. Key for the position of the icon. And this is the problem in this case, this key. So maybe I did by mistake, I don't know, but it's something I don't want it. So I'm going to remove. And now when I check, it's working fine. Okay, I'm going to remove this key. And I'm going to try something different. For example, uh, my idea is in uh, this moment the character is working and in other moment the character is uh, skating. And for that, what I need is that uh, the feet the feet don't move from the ground. So I'm going to remove these keys of the hips. And for that, I'm going to select both the leg and only key the Y position. Now, when I mix both animations, the legs only move in X, because in this animation, these two keys of the legs key the Y position. So you need to know what you want to mix to know what key to use. The last thing you need to know is that the order of the layers in the steam machine is important. For example, here, when I mix these animations, what happens is that the keys of this animation from this layer are being added to this animation, to the layer above. So, if I change the order of these layers, when I mix the animations, what happens now is that the keys of this animation, of the wall animation, are being added to the hips animation. So, if I change the order again, you can see the difference now. Now the keys of the hips animation are being added to the walk animation. So you need to know that always is from this layer to the layer above. Now we're going to create something simple to see all this. In this example, we're going to use this star and create a spinning animation. Then using an input, make the star jump while it's spinning. For that, what we need is two animations, the spinning animation and the animation of the jump. So here in the editor, the first thing I'm going to do is create a control to make this spin animation, this spinning animation. And for that, what we're going to do is group the star and change the style of the group to target. And use this target like a control to make this spinning animation. One thing you need to know is that when you create this spinning animation for the star, in the property of the stroke, you need to disactivate this option, the transform effects. Because if you have this option activated when you deform the star, you see what happened here. The star don't have thickness. So when you deselect this option, the stroke keeps the size, and this size uh, works like the thickness of the star. Okay, so we have this control uh, for the scale. I'm going to rename this. Control scale. And now what I need is a second control for the young animation. And for that, I'm going to select this first control and group it. Now this new group, I'm going to change the style to target and move using Y and move the target to the bottom of the star here. It's just here uh, in this line. So I'm going to rename this new group uh, Control Jump. Okay, so with this control, I can create the spinning animation. And with this control, I can create the uh, jump animation. I can move and deform the star. 
The idea to use this position for the this control is because for the deformation, what I need is that this part stay in the same place in the in the ground. Okay, so that's it. We have the rig, and now let's start with the animation. Okay, the first animation we need is the spinning animation. So I'm going to rename this spinning. And for that, the first thing I'm going to do is keep the size in X. And here in 30, I'm going to change this to zero. And for the last, because the star has equal size, I'm going to copy this key and paste here. And add the cubic interpolation. Change this to loop and check. OK. But here there is a problem. If you see in this moment, the star is slow. Something is slow here. And this is because the curve is from a slow to fast to a slow. So this part is a slow. And what I need is from the slow to fast and from fast to a slow. This way the star don't stop here. So I'm going to change the curve like this. And this K, I'm going to change the curve like this. So now, if you see here, oops, the curve go to a slow to fast and here from fast to a slow. And when you check, you see the difference now. Okay, this is the spinning animation. And the second animation we need is the jump. Okay, for that, the first thing I'm going to do is key the position and the actual side. Okay, back to the, this sketch. I'm going to show you how is this uh, young animation. Uh, in the first moment, what happened is this anticipation. Normally, the anticipation is a movement uh, opposite to the direction of the action. In this case, the action is the, this jump. So the anticipation is, uh, is a little animation in opposite direction. It's where the star prepared to the jump. Then is this action when the star jump go up and go down. And then the last part is when the star recuperate the actual size. I'm going to start with the, this anticipation. So in this moment, what happened is that the star moves something like this. And then here in 10, I'm going to copy this key and then move this something like this. So this is the anticipation, this moment is the anticipation, and this is when the star go to jump. So move this here. Okay, so I'm going to add cube interpolation here. So this is the anticipation, and now from here the idea is that the star go uh, from a slow to fast. Is the energy moment uh, before to the jump. So for that I'm going to select this key and change the curve like this from a slow to fast, and check this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This anticipation and jump. Okay, now, now in one moment, maybe here, I'm going to move the start. Okay, 
maybe here okay and now because this speed is from slow to fast this position needs to be from fast to slow to keep this energy Whoop. slow Whoop. Whoop. maybe we can use more this curve like this Whoop. yeah Whoop. and the deformation of the star in this moment can recuperate the, the, the size so I'm going to copy these keys and paste here and for that I'm going to keep this easy easy Whoop. yeah Whoop. anticipation jump and here recuperate the size and now go back and for that maybe here I'm going to copy all these keys and um, from here the curve is something like from slow to fast Whoop. 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 maybe I need a little bit more space here ok, better I'm going to add more time here and now go up, go down and from here we need is this recuperation of the star so this position is similar to this position so I'm going to copy these keys and paste here and here the idea because this is from slow to fast the deformation to keep the energy is from fast to slow Bang. exactly and now the last position is the recuperation maybe here and for this, uh, a cubic interpolation okay so I want to move some keys here maybe all this a little bit here better and I want to move this to maybe this curve like this And all this a little bit. Okay, better. So, I'm going to add the work area maybe here and check this. So, now we have these two animations the spinning and the jump. Okay, so now I'm going to add the steam machine and one thing you have to know is that each steam machine layer can only have one state uh, active at a time. In this case, we want to have two states, the spinning animation and the jump at the same time uh, to mix them. For this reason, we need two layers. So I'm going to rename this spinning spinning animation and for that I'm going to move the entry here this part I don't want to use it entry here and add the spinning animation and connect and in a new layer this will be the jump animation and move the entry here this can be here and the jump animation and connect now if I check this 
you can see how both animation are mixing in the same, at the same time. But my idea is uh, use an input to uh, activate the jam. So I'm going to add a new input, in this case a trigger, and rename preset. And now for that, what I need is other state of the jam. It's one state uh, where the start is static. So for that, I'm going to create a new animation the jump and move here and for that I'm going to copy the first key of the jump that is the position and the scale copy this key and paste here now in the state machine I'm going to change this animation for idle jam and add this jam animation again here so now what I need is uh, when I start the state machine uh, the idle animation is working and when I use the this input jam to the uh, jam animation <laughs> so for that, I'm going to add a condition that is the input we have, the preset. And when this animation finishes, what we want is uh, go back to the idle jam. So for that, I'm going to add a new transition in opposite direction. And here, I'm going to add the exit time to 100%. This, uh, that means that when the old animation of uh, jam, when the animation go here to the final, then jump to the idle jam. So let's try this play. We are going to check in the spinning. When I play, the spinning animation is looping. Okay, in the other layer, when I play, the idle jam is working. And when I press here, what happens is that jump to the jam animation and go back. And you can see how when uh, I activate the jam, the start jam while it's spinning. So all the time, both animations are mixing. So that's it. This is all about this tutorial. You can use this file to make the animation or you can do something different like this. So I hope you like this uh, tutorial. If you have any question, please leave the comment on the video and see you in the next.